together, which is definitely not a hero that's being picked at all. Yeah. And we've right. seen some like Slardar, even Mon uh, Monkey King on the offlane. Warm up overthrow or pub directly into your match. And sometimes that can really affect people, but yeah. all of that. Doing a lot of research into damage block too. I was hoping we saw Spectre into Tide today. Oh, Zephyr, that's it. First blood. Just slowed down too much by the Arctic Bird, and now Cuckoo's gonna find most of his mana is gonna be burned away as uh, Nico Baby. I wonder what the spell block interactions are. If you are not the one being doomed, but you're soul bound as uh, Cuckoo's. Is Cuckoo actually dead here? They're gonna take some time, but Nico Baby's having a hard time actually putting damage onto this axe, especially since he's completely out of mana. So he's just kind of running around with his Vanguard, challenging anybody who wants to fight him. Finally, they do get another round oh of Earth God. Spike. Still, though, they're gonna have to keep on poking at him from a distance. Otherwise, this madman will kill somebody. As uh, Orb Corrosion a couple times, and there it is. Finally, the set up. They're going to go for the Doom on S4, the first move by T1's cores, and it is going to be a successful gank. Meanwhile, farther up the river, as we're going to watch Carl die here, they're going to try and chase down Zephyr. Zephyr is going to be pulled back into the Shockwave. Pretty easy kill for Alliances, uh, but he's at half health with no mana, so it's, again, really hard for this AM to actually do damage. They're going to catch up the Limp here. The Ice Blast is going to spot him out, but a Skewer away will get him out of range, but 23 Savage is there with the Stun RP immediately being used, but he may still burn out. Meanwhile, behind, there's Chaos. The Doom Edge get the call on to Nico, baby. They Can they fear him down? I don't think so. They just do not have the damage, so uh, Carl's just going to run down FNG, it looks like, instead. Ultimately, it's going to be a support for support trade-off, but uh, RP did have to be used to save Limp's life. It, that's most unfortunate. It's the max and power build. Really difficult to do anything when you go this style. Uh, I think he just more than anything wants to buff up Nico Baby and help him accelerate a bit faster. Cuckoo is just crushing us for. Slowing him down, battle Plenty hunger. If he gets like three spins, he could get a calling blade off. Maybe it's just one or two. Oh, he enough. He's just he's below got... the line. Oh, oh no! He, he sat and survived. He went up to 258 he's HP he's after the stick. 20. Yeah. No, he's certainly uh, been stellar. 4T1 is they're going to try and go for an advantage in the triangle. They pick up a kill on Onskin, but they're going to run into the Ravage, into the skewer like pins. They're all going to fall here as Cuckoo is going to be the last one left alive, but he's got nowhere to run to. Hours, but now T1, they'll make the move. Skewering on back, Cuckoo getting ripped apart by all this damage. Jeez. That was a little bit more than I expected, but the empowered mag hitting for over 200 damage a hit with a gush as well. They're gonna be able to get the soul behind double doom, the ice blast out as well. That's gonna be two kills instantly for T1. Now the other two, Lemp and FNG, were able to get back here. Like, okay, I'm just gonna push out mid, try and force them to rotate over T1. Kind of setting up here, aren't gonna be able to go for S4. Now S4 does have the sounds on, the ice blast is coming in as well. Lemp, no, he missed the RP. He didn't get off the blink beforehand. S4 is going to be burned out here. What happened to Limp? Go and let this Roshan happen for free. Smoke breaks. Cuckoo, look at his position. The DD. On scan. They can get this DD. Oh, oh the stomp coming in. The two man soul bite with the doom and the ink swell. Just beautiful stuff from T1. And the fight is seemingly already over as the two cores are dead. As for, he tried to go for the kill on the white man. Winter's Curse does actually hold them in place and kills the ancient apparition finally. Maybe they can get out of here, but they're not going to win this fight without their two damage dealers. Hey, okay, Cold Embrace after Cold Embrace is saving him. Carl's done with that nonsense, though. He chases away the Winter Wyvern while his other two allies focus on the S4 type. Back up again, but 23 Savage is being patient. Lent managed to find a nice skewer back onto two of them, unable to get out the RP, but he does so now. That is going to be both of them dying. Oh, Cuckoo does manage to get off his BKB with the call with Inkswell as well. The double soul bind, the silence stacking up, and they are both dead. Now FNG chased down by Carl as well. Once again, Team One just responding to Alliance and out initiating them. I just long enough to get off his BKB, and now he's going to be able to catch 23 Savage as well. The stun follow up, the silence put onto him. That is going to potentially be a team wipe as long as they've got enough stuns, and they 
would do. Blow a TP and try and make it happen. See if we get any giggles. A couple. Oh, and the smoke out from Alliance, but they're going to run right into 23 Savage. Look at Zephyr just wants to they're ready. They just want a soul bind. They're going to jump him right after oh, the skewer. Immediately the soul bind, the double tomb. It just keeps happening. They're so good at it. They're, they're so perfect it. at these combinations. And now they're going to be able to get the call onto FNG as well. So Winner's Curse already thrown out, but it doesn't do anything. Grimstroke actually using Dark his Infus. There goes the Dark Portrait. He silenced up. He's Inkswelled. And now he's going to be called as well. Oh, my God. They didn't even need the Doom. Yeah. And it showed. They just swamped Alliance with uh, straight up soul bind and beauty. Beautiful blink initiation. Just absolutely perfect stuff from T1, man. That was, I mean, look at the pop off, too. I mean, they just crushed it. I don't know how I feel about CK. I've seen a lot of CK on the offlane during the Chinese season DPC2, and it looked uh, pretty damn good. The double supports are going to block camps and Alliance. Like, they can't stick in the lane. It's way too close to tower and the chase potential of an Orb of Venom tree. Wait, does that. Okay, I was wondering. I've never seen that interaction before, but yeah, if you're banished, you'll still block the spawn. Okay. He is going to get stomped here. They're going to build up a lot of damage. These illusions are doing a lot of work, but they're going to turn around onto S4 with Elite Seed. That'll heal up White Mon. Then he's not threatened. In fact, he gets the first blood against S4. Oh, he missed the toss back. And now Carl is actually in trouble. He's taking too much damage. Carl's going to have to run away before Lim can get that last hit in. But he's got oh, fairy fire. Turn around and he gets the final nuke. The fourth one to secure the kill onto the tiny. What a big turn by Lim. Fairy value in this case. S4, poor man. He's level four. Just trying to jungle. Disruption into a stomp. So uh, as they're killing neutral creeps, he might be able to kill a slightly bigger unit here. Zephyr. A fifth stack, and I think that'll Ooh. probably kill. Nice Jew. Can he do it again? Oh, the final one lands, <laughs> and that is his death. Going mid behind Limp, expecting somebody to defend this, and it will be the Tram Protector and maybe Carl as well. Carl showing up with the Ace Rune is going to be able to get the toss back before the Winner's Curse could stop him. But now the SF Requiem is going to go Whoa. out. A beautiful hit and just lines up the raisins. A triple kill for Limp. Make that a quad, potentially? No, man. Lion. He's gonna skedaddle here. Nico Baby's gonna try and chase him down. Actually does manage to catch up. Boy, Chaos Knight's a fast hero. So they get the fourth key a bit deceiving. The smoke. They're gonna move in and be able to spot some heroes here with the daytime vision. They see Nico Baby and they're gonna plan their execution. They're gonna jump on him with the Hanks and Doom. Immediately the Chaos Knight is just out of the team fight. They're gonna stampede and try and get everybody else out on the side of Alliance. But Cuckoo, he's gonna chase. Same goes with Carl. Missing out on the toss, which I think he wanted on an ally. Maybe tossing the tree and protector with an overgrowth. Miss Centaur stun. They got to be careful. Jumping forward. Lion going for limp. Trying to keep him disabled and out of this game. But at the same time, they've already lost their tree and protector. And Zephyr just dies to the heavy amount of physical damage from SF. A crystalless crit is very scary for these uh, squishy supports. Too many spells on the initial target. They're going to go back in. I think. they Yeah, they got the doom set up. Winter's oh, Curse be immediately it. catching him out. Now the, the Requiem rave. goes. The Rave, the Glaives, Glaives, Glaives. Oh, Jesus. Cuckoo, he almost dies to it, but he actually does manage to stay alive. The BKB, 23 Savage, they're going to toss. Oh, God, Limp, oh. this was not what he expected. The Glaives off of the Winter's Curse, pretty much solo killing his first life. Wow, I didn't know that it worked. They were bouncing back and forth. The space that he's made now looks like they're going to set up for a smoke. Let's see how Alliance is able to respond here. They don't quite yet have the Satanic done on Limp, which they would really want if this initiation comes true. Cuckoo, the smoke is going to break. Is he going to jump forward? He does. He managed to jump forward straight onto Limp, but the two man's done on top of that. The tiny combo is there as well with a finger of death. They put an S4 down. Now they're going to be able to catch up the Hunts in. Three dead. Another beautiful initiation. Initiation, being on the low ground and still finding the right jump. That hero alive for long and two games in a row now, no good curses. The one mid for that team fight was great, but in this mid to late game period, FNG just feels completely neutralized. Pulling him back in. They don't want to let 23 Savage walk away. He's going to be purged up. Disruption. This is kind of the scary combo that we were talking about earlier. The overgrowth goes out, but the Luna's already dead. They did not respect 
how Shadow Demon counters a Luna. And now they're going to lose not only 23 Savage, but possibly Cuckoo as well. Blink away. One second. One second. Oh, he had it for just a beat there. He pops a BKB, but I think he's still going to die as the uh, Scorched Earth is up. He's going to get that bit of extra movement speed, but the BKB does eventually run out. Two cores dying there. Risks being taken. S4. Okay, so what, what is the dream initiation for Alliance? What are they looking for? I think it's more about avoiding Doom on a critical target. They want SD okay. to get all of his ults off, and they want to find a support if possible. Showing up into the bit. They're going to be able to get the stomp. Nico, baby, they're going to blow uh... him up. They blew double ultimates for that. They do have the buyback, though, and Cuckoo's going to be ripped apart by the physical damage. It looks like the Winter's Curse in the back line. Zephyr gets a little bit low, yeah, and they're going to try and catch up to him. They manage to get the disruption off onto him, but at the same time, Tiny going for Hanskin, trying to make sure there's no more of that break mechanic. As the 23 Savage Luna is able to turn him up, the BKB, the Satanic now going out. They're going to hold him in place, but Nico, baby, has to run away from 23 Savage. So he turns back instead and deals Did with Link. FNG inside of the pit. They're going to buy back on the SF, but look at the damage. Roshan, S4, and Hanskin are both going to be dying here as the burnout. Zephyr keeping himself magic immune with the mana drain until the rest of his team is here to help destroy Nico, baby, and a potential dieback for him. They need to finish him off now, and Carl gets the triple kill. S4, though, he's going to be able to deal out the damage. Both Carl and White Hunter are so low, but they can't quite finish him off, and they cannot walk into 23 Savages Luna, who is still large, strong, has a Satanic, has an Aegis. They cannot win this fight anymore. They have to run away from the Luna. Hanskin does what he can with the illusions, but it's not good enough. Limp, he needs to be able to get off the Requiem, but there's too many stuns. He's not going to be able to do this. This is going to be a dieback for him as well, potentially, oh as God. the Glaive's raining in the toss back oh and the combos from T1 are too damn strong. They just destroyed them, Cap. Like, that wasn't a team fight win. They just got, they just embarrassed Alliance in the pit. Total outplays from 23 Savage. One of the only, what, four players in the world at 12 KMMR plays like it. Like, just perfect positioning. Saves his BKB Holy for coming shit, out of the he's disruption. He's getting a death, so Kyle. He's going to end it's the over. game. It's over. It's over. Like, they have lost the game. They've, what, three diebacks? That was like eight on five. And even eight on five, Alliance can't win that fight. FNG. GG. He's going to call it. He has Winner's Curse, but he knows his allies are dead for too long. They threw everything they had for that Roshan fight. They used all their buybacks and they quickly turned into diebacks in their hands. And T1, it's such a dominant victory. I was a little bit concerned for them once that Aghanim Shadow Demon came out. But once again, T1 proves to be one of the best teams in the world at these team fights. These guys are incredible playing around each other. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, no... No real even Yeah, stop wasting my time.